you know Scotty? He's been asking for me ever since we got in here. Apparently they were in the army together. Where is he? Warren's been an addict for years. He'd do almost anything for a fix, including getting himself run over. For goodness sake, Warren. How the hell did you get in here? He's dead. I thought someone was trying to kill him. Hold on. An overdose. <sighs> Why here? We still have to call the police. I'm sorry about Dan. I wish I could have stopped him. I'm sure you tried. Thanks. More than Maxwell did anyway. He gave him over a grand in pocket money. You're joking. <laughs> uh, I can almost understand why. He must be sick of all the bickering. God knows I am. Well, maybe it's a good thing then. You and Dan are in different countries for a while. Without a goodbye? I feel like I'm never going to see him again. Of course you will. No, oh, and when I do, we'll just be at each other's throats within five minutes. We can't help ourselves. If I could just sit down. And talk to him. The way he's feeling right now, you're wasting your time. Ugh. I just wish I could have stayed out of it. The whole Lauren baby saga. Daniel's right. It was none of my business. Well, Lauren made it your business. Her father wasn't any use to her. Someone had to step in. Huh? He's probably in Sydney by now. Oh, I'm liking it. Boy, shoes off. Gerald would have a fit. It's ours now. And let's be totally honest, this sofa's gonna have to deal with a lot more than just my shoes. Gerald's only lending it to us until he finds a place of his own. Well, what Jerry doesn't know isn't gonna hurt him. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd come around and check out the new place. This is it. This is cool. Yeah, not as nice as Jakarta, though. Soph told me you were on a plane out of here. Ah, oh, yeah, via Sydney. Well, at least that was the plan. What happened? But I got to the airport and realized my passport had expired. Oh, man. <laughs> I was wondering if I could crash here, just till I get a new passport. Well, that could take a few weeks. Well, no, they can do it in a few days. <sighs> I was thinking for it. Why can't you say it your bumps? Uh, we're not really getting on to, are they? He doesn't want to have to admit he made a dick of himself at the airport. <laughs> Look, can I stay or not? He's stay in Chang's room. Yeah. Well, no, he can't because Chang has just paid his share of the rent and bond. Did I tell you he's not moving until next week? Well, sweet. Shame there's no bed. <laughs> well, you can sleep on the couch. <laughs> well, thanks. So you'll keep us in the loop? Well, then we're off to the autopsy. So is this the ultimate up yours, Scotty? What? I didn't help him, I didn't listen to him. So what, he breaks in, takes a big enough hit of something to kill himself, all to punish you? <sighs> Even if it wasn't deliberate, why the hell would he break in and shoot up on my couch? He must have wanted to see me. I guess. He got bored of waiting, thought he'd do some drugs. Hey, Warren was pretty far gone. I don't think there is a rational explanation for any of this. Still, I want to wait and see what the police come back with. I don't think they'll be thinking anything other than overdose. The force window out the back is all they have to go on, and it doesn't look like anyone else was here. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Shanice. Not sure you'd still be home. Well done. Oh, where'd you think I'd be? Down at the casino, winning back the money I wasted on your son? Well, that's where it came from in the first place, isn't it? No, not quite. I told you where it was. Actually, yes, I don't care. Babe. Uh, Daniel left because he wanted to. He's not as stupid as to leave the country with only a few dollars in his pocket, all right? He was bluffing. No, he wasn't. And nothing you or I could have said would have stopped him. 
especially you. Thanks for the support. Hey, I, I'm still here, aren't I? Look, I'm sorry Daniel didn't say goodbye to you, but you can't blame me for that. I'm not. Well, you could have fooled me. It's just his nature, you know. Giving my son $1,500 to leave the country without talking to me first, how is that supporting me? Yes, I should have okayed it with you. But $1,500 means the kid wouldn't have been living off the street. I thought I was doing you both a favour. Well, big mistake. Do you know how easy it would have been for me to gamble that money? I could have gone straight to the casino the minute I left work. It would have been more fun than coming here, that's for sure. But no, I stopped. Same thing tonight. Well, what do you want? Congratulations. No, same thing as you. Support. Where did you go anyway? To the IV. They had one drink. By yourself? Or did TK happen to be there? So what if he was? I'm going to be... Morning, Chris. Morning, ladies. I hear Karen Mitchell's being discharged this afternoon. The surgery was successful. He's got his memory back. He's very lucky. Lucky you had you. Apparently this isn't the first serious head injury that Karen's had. In the wrong hands, things could have gone either way. I'm just glad he has no long-term disability. That's the worry in cases like his. Can you imagine if he needed home care? There wouldn't exactly be a lineup of volunteers. There would have been once. He had some good friends here. Until he let them all down, one by one. Oh, I completely forgot. I don't know how you can look at the guy, let alone nurse him. I'm a professional. It's my job. I just hope he's grateful for what you did for him. Chris, those surgical throughput figures. All done? Ready to email? Now would be good. You okay, Zoe? Not really. What's up? You fawning over Chris like that? I wasn't. You were. He only has to do his job properly and suddenly all his stuff-ups are forgotten. If you're talking about the hand transplant, that was actually a successful surgery. The recipient was clearly unsuitable, but Chris went ahead anyway, and then he botched an operation on my son. But no one talks about that, do they? No one mentions the stress and the grief and the... Um, my cell phone. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't get remote rights unless you pay rent. Do you hear that? Ooh. Probably your mum come to drag you home. Hey. Uh. Hey. Oh, if you're looking for your brother, he's already going to work. No, you actually. I was wondering if you wanted to go to a movie later. Oh, might do. Are you going to come? Depends. Are you going to put some clothes on? For you, anything. Back in a sec. Hi. Daniel. I mean, you didn't need to make up some big cover story about going overseas. If you and Brody wanted to be together... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What happened? My passport expired. Oh, I didn't even check it before I applied for the visa. Oops. Yeah. But I'm still going, though. And don't tell Sarah I'm here. She doesn't need to know. So you're gonna camp out here until you can get a new passport? Why don't you stay at TK's? I don't want him to know either. Why? Just promise me you won't tell. Why are you cutting off TK too? Just promise me. 